Good morning, boys and girls. It is really great to see you again this morning. I hope you've had a great week and school is going well for you. I hope you're doing the best that you can in school. It, uh, it's very important, very important to be doing well in school. Last week, we began talking about prayer and the importance of praying. And we have taken a little break from talking about the people in the Bible. And we'll get back to that again soon. I just, when we hit Manasseh, and we saw how powerful prayer can be. I wanted to go into that for a little while. So, well, what is prayer? Do you remember what I told you it was? Talking to God. That's it in a nutshell. Prayer is talking to God. We talk to God and then we listen. We listen for how he talks to us, how he tells us what he wants us to be, what he wants us to do, how he wants us to act in certain situations. Well, what do we talk to God about? I have one simple answer there. Everything. I talk to God about everything. My hopes, my dreams, my desires, my hurts, problems, things that make me happy, things that make me sad angry, mad, the injustices of the world, everything. Just have a conversation with God. Let him know how you're feeling. But there's some other things that go into the praying and talking to God. He knows our hearts. He knows everything that we're thinking, but he wants to hear our voices. And it doesn't have to be a voice out loud. It can be the one where you're just thinking thoughts and you talk to God that way. But I tell you what, I like to talk to God out loud by myself in the car, driving down the road. I know people probably think I'm a lunatic when they see me and I'm talking to God. When I'm upset, I'm crying. I'm talking to him about everything. And he hears every word we have to say. Well, when should we pray? Told you I do it. In the car. I do it. It doesn't matter where I am. It could be when I lay my head on the pillow in the summertime. I get out into my pool. The sun is out. My batteries feel like they're recharging. And first thing I do is thank God for the ability to, to swim, for the ability to be in that water, to be in his sunshine, to be in the shine of his sun also. The birds around me, the animals around me, and, and that's I feel a peace when I talk to God that way. We sh And when we are praying, we should do it without ceasing. It, you don't have to just, okay, it's not nighttime yet. I can't pray. It's not bedtime. It should be you start in the morning. Thank God for waking you up. Thank God for allowing you to get out of bed. Thank God for allowing you to go to school, to, to learn, to have friends, to have mom and dad, a warm bed to sleep in, a warm house in the winter and a cool house in the summer. When you turn on that water, thank you, God, for running water in the house. Not everybody in the world has these things that we have. So it's a continual prayer, a continual thanking. When you see something, an injustice going on, or, or we see them all the time, homeless people on the side of the road begging. Lord, please, you know, be with that person. Help them to find what they need to find. So it's it's a never, should should be a never-ending thing. And then at the end of the day, you can just wrap it up with, Lord, thank you so much. Thank you very much. And in Jesus' name, I bring all these things that I've brought to you today. Well, today we're going to talk about praise. Because praise and prayer kind of walk hand in hand. Well, let me ask you first, have you been praying this week? I kind of gave you a challenge last week to start small if you don't. Give me 30 seconds when you lay your head down or you get your up in the morning, anything. This week, I'm going to challenge you to make it 45 seconds. Just make it short and sweet if you need to. Bring it to the Lord and you need to do it every day if you can remember to do that. The more you do it, the more you will remember to do that. And I said we're talking about praise this week because praise and prayer go together. Praise, and I'm going to, uh, I'm pulling information from 1 Corinthians 14, 15. What am I to do? I will pray with my spirit, but I will pray with my mind also. 
I will sing praise with my spirit, but I will sing with my mind also. You should be in a joyful, praising attitude if you can do that. Well, what is praise? Praise is expressing warm approval or admiration of something or someone else. In other words, praise is our way of letting someone know we appreciate them or something about them that they are or that they do for others. As humans, we like to let others know about the good things that we do. This is called boasting. It's part of our sin nature. Boasting about ourselves is bragging, is trying to make ourselves puffed up and seem better than someone else. Well, in the Bible, we are actually told to boast every time the word praise appears. When we praise God, we are essentially boasting about God. We are admiring his work. We should let others know to always make sure that God shines. We should know that God should shine in our boasting, revealing that everything is praiseworthy about God. Praise is a response of worship. We sing praise about the greatness of God. We proclaim his greatness to others in joy and excitement. We spread words of comfort to those who are sick and hurting. We declare his goodness and sovereignty. His sovereignty makes him, he, it means he is supreme. He is above all. He is supreme to everything. We can confidently boast about God in any and all situations. And when I say any or all, I mean in any or all. Even if you're in pain, even if things bad things are happening to you, you can still boast that God has got you. God will bring you out of that pain. God will bring you out of your hurting, out of your sickness, if you trust and believe that he'll do that. Do that. Therefore, we need to boast on our Lord. Psalm 145 starts with three very significant words. And then King James and New King James, it starts off, I will extol you, meaning I will praise you. So it starts off with Praise the Lord. So today's word is praise. Our praise to God is the reverent, cheerful, and boastful adoration in response to his revelation of what he has done, is doing, and will do for us. Now let me break that down. Our praise to God is to be honoring, to be respectful, to be cheerful, and boasting, in adoration, in admiring, in thankfulness to what he's already done for us, to what he is going to do for us, and for what he is doing right now. So what he has done, what he is doing, and what he will do. We are to be respectfully honoring and cheerful about everything. Bad things happen. Bad things happen to everybody. But we have to not allow the bad things and bad people in our lives to steal a joy that should come from deep, deep inside from knowing Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Boys and girls, let's go ahead and pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you. We thank you for allowing us to live a life in the beauty of which you make, in the beauty of our homes with our families. Lord, we are so thankful for everything and everybody that you place in our lives. Lord, we ask for forgiveness where we sin against you. We ask that you be with all of those who need you, those who are sick, those who have cancer, those who don't know you, Lord, we ask that you are with them. Lord, we thank you. We thank you for allowing us to worship you. We thank you most of all for your son, Jesus Christ. It is in his wonderful and holy name that we do pray. Amen. Boys and girls, I miss you and I love you. And I hope you have a really great week. See you next time.